Hey, Don Serieri, welcome! Happy. The original Mafia was released in 2002 and told a richly layered tale bursting with gangster tropes. The game begins with Tommy Angelo, a lowly cab driver in the city of Lost Heaven, who inadvertently teams up with local gangsters. Spanning the course of nearly a decade, we see his rise to prominence and his ultimate fall within the Mafia through a wide variety of memorable missions. One such level, Bon Appetit, is one of these standout moments. I'm going to Pepe's restaurant for lunch. But my personal bodyguard is called in sick. It all starts when Tommy's boss, Don Salieri, asks to be taken to Pepe's restaurant, a moment he's been looking forward to all week. His driver mysteriously called in sick, so he asks you to accompany him as his chauffeur and bodyguard. On the way there, you get some one-on-one -on -one bonding time with the Don as he briefly reminisces about Pepe's Sicilian-style cooking and even lets you drive his fancy car. The fun quickly goes awry, however, when a hit squad of Morello's men, the rival boss you're at war with, rolls up to the restaurant and opens fire. As one of his top-level enforcers, it's up to you to protect the Don, and after an intense shootout involving multiple Tommy guns, the two of you manage to dispose of the rival crew. I have to say, you got balls, Tommy. You saved my ass. Salieri quickly puts together what happened, and together you head off to extract revenge on Carlo, the driver who called in sick. Don Salieri declares him a dead man, and after a brief drive through the city, you show up at his apartment complex. You kick down his door just in time to see him run down the fire escape. As you literally catch him with his pants down, he and his cronies open fire, but are no match for a made man. Shut up, lady, or you're next. Kill that bastard, Tom! It's been compared to Grand Theft Auto, but Mafia's loyalties lie elsewhere. It's about gangsters roughing up an open world, but it's not considered a sandbox. The world exists to drive the story, rather than be explored. Despite never returning to Pepe's restaurant or Carlo's apartment, there's still locations we remember fondly. They added a layer of depth to the city of Lost Heaven, enhancing the narrative and providing a tense, unforgettable mission. Yeah, I think so.